Good morning, gang. Our gang. Remember our gang, Spanky and the gang? <laughs> the old gang. I don't know where they were. New York City or somewhere. But anyway, our gang. Anyway, today is Friday, TGIF. Also, this afternoon at beer 30 time will be beer 30, and I'll try to come up with something. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be, but we'll talk about something. So we'll relax and chill out at beer 30. And anyway, I've been Living in an RV a long time, everybody knows that. This is a Class C motorhome, and it's made to get on the road, isn't it? Sure is. Never worry about what you cannot change. What else? What else? Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow, right now. So enjoy the hell out of it. So what else? Uh, hey, Google, tell us a joke. What do you call a belt made of watches? A waste of time. Okay, that's a biggie. That's a big old, big old joke. Okay, you can shut up now. Thank you. Anyway, what else? What else? Uh, oh, do you know you you know the uh, the theme song to Mash? It, you know the name of the song is "Suicide Is Painless." That's actually the theme song for Mash, the old TV series a long time ago. You can't play it on YouTube. Mm -mm. They got they got it. You can try to get to it. I tried to get to it yesterday and couldn't because I, I think it's a good song. I mean, it's interesting. Anyway, and then also, but you can play this one, Wandering Star, Wandering Star uh, by Lee Marvin on uh, from Paint Your Wagon. That's a good one. That's kind of like my theme song. I mean, I, I like it. You know, it's just got a lot of good stuff in it. Anyway, what else? What else? What else? Uh, yeah, we'll be uh, doing something soon here, guys. Uh, you never know. Uh, what else we got here? We got a lot of comments. White Elk says, Yogurt Noosa. I've become a 78609 Noosa junkie, but I'll try this O-I-N-K-A. You speak up. Actually, it's O. Let me tell you what it is. It's O. How do you spell it? It's O-I-O-I-K-O-S. Oikos. <clears throat> it's a yogurt. But anyway, Ralph P., it's nice and quiet where I live in the boonies. You're, you are so spot on about what you encounter at campgrounds. The old goat would cringe. No lie. Here's the old goat giving you a Friday morning stinking goat kiss. Alpha, thumbs up to you, dog. What's happening? D. Anderson, the Griswolds are from family vacation, are from, or the family from vacation. Rusty, did you ever see anyone put their dead aunt on top of their camper? <laughs> no. Wasn't that crazy, though? I mean, the kids was, you know, now wake up your aunt or what, her grandma, I mean, their aunt, that's who it was. And the little girl kind of pokes her, trying to help her. She says she ain't asleep. She's dead. Yeah. <laughs> and they put her on the roof in a rocking chair. <laughs> and then they dropped her off at some of their kinfolk's place and, and left. That's crazy. That was funny. I mean, it was a, just a, yeah, pretty cute. Then he says, don't forget the potheads, smell of potheads, dope. Actually, the sm smell of dope uh, is uh, not bad. I mean, you know, uh, you know marijuana is not bad. I don't know about some of the other stuff because I've never been around it. Levi Stubbs, I still miss the trees you cut down. Well, good for you, Levi. Just keep missing them. Back on your meds, boy. Back in the closet. Scotty Thompson, cool video talk. Rusty, thank you, Scotty the Mask. Bowler from... Wisconsin, Copper Man, John Bruce, hoist up the sail, John Bruce, or hoist up the John Bruce sail. Beautiful clouds in the New Mexico skies today, always, baby, and today it is perfectly clear here. Living in Hawaii, I first planned to buy an RV to use for six months or so per year. Well, that hasn't happened, so I rent for 10 days or so about reservations. It is a necessity these days, but it kind of inhibits spontaneity. It does. Uh, I made one camp in the center of the whole trip. Anyway, you did good, John Bruce. Enjoy your life and enjoy your travels. D. Anderson, guys, house wrap does, does provide insulation to a home. Sure it does. It's a moisture barrier for sure, but it's also a radiant barrier. Radiant barriers are a form of insulation. So kiss the ring of Rusty and admit you are ignorant and he is wise. Woo! 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 <laughs> Get him, Anderson. Get him, boy. Sick him. <laughs> <coughs> Quit questioning the, the Rusty and his wisdom. Hell, well, it just makes sense to me. If you wrap your house with some kind of thing, it's got to help insulate it, you know? <clears throat> I think. 
Gabriel's Holistic Care. Good day, Rusty. Rangers and Old Goat. Good day, good day. Good day, mate. Jurassic Pork Chop. Now, that's cute. Uh, the name, Jurassic Pork Chop. I really enjoyed this parade. Oh, yeah, it was on uh, Capitan, New Mexico, 4th of July. I could easily live in Capitan. Maybe I should sell my house in Colorado and move down there and have a beer or two with Rusty. Uh, thanks, for, thanks, Rusty, for the fun. Well, you're quite welcome, Jurassic Pork Chop. <clears throat> okay, here you go. Scotty's telling us about his bowling now. Uh, my mom is going to get me some new bowling shoes. Brunswick bowling shoes, slip-on bowling shoes. I don't like tie shoes. And my mom's going to get me new bowling shoes with new tie just slip on before my 2022-23 bowling season starts in September. Well, great, Scotty. That will make all the difference. It's not the person's talent. It's the equipment. <clears throat> Scotty Thompson, cool comment, call Rusty. Thank you, sir. Bowling man, copper man. The Edel Camper, so true about barking dogs and early morning travelers, Mary and Fred. Mary and Fred, good morning, Mary and Fred. RB Traveling with the Geezer, check that channel out on YouTube. I eat the Oikos yogurt too, only one I can find without any sugar or artificial sweeteners. They use stevia, a sweet sweetener, which is much better for you. Yeah, it's a, a, a plant from Africa. They've imported and somebody raised it and they use it. Yeah, there's several products that use that stevia. <clears throat> it's okay. It's better than most. Shift into high. How many times did I think about something, procrastinate, mull it over and wait, and then later be so relieved I did not act? Hindsight is twenty twenty. Yeah, you're right. And taking time to make certain decisions is wonderful. Hellcat Granny, check that channel out on YouTube. She's a races cars and she's in her 70s. Nice lady. I enjoy a comment call. I wish I knew when I actually started watching your channel. I believe you were in the Prius. I was maybe in 2016 or 17. Uh, stay or safe travels always. Well, that Prius I was traveling in was a 2013, so it must have been before that. Anyway, thank you, Hellcat Granny. Sashi Smith. Hi, Rusty. Hi. Beautiful drive and share. I didn't buy anything yet, but I still patted myself on the back. Always. He who patteth not his own back, his back will go unpatteth. That's in the Bible. Uh, anyway, Daisy Muffin. Uh, I'm back, Rusty. Ru I'm back. Rusty, you burning thing of love. You fill my heart with love. <laughs> Don't forget old what's-his-name out here. He, there's another guy that lives around here up on a mountain. I won't mention his name. But, boy, he, 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 he tell, I ain't going to tell you what he said, but I, you know what I mean, you know. Tina Lee, safe travels, Rusty. Always great for new adventures for you. Yeah, you bet, babe. John M Muller, Muller, Muller. Don't forget to grease the front end of your van. It's worth ever squeeze. Grease the front end. There ain't no grease fittings. Yeah, it says probably sealed bearings. Yeah, that's it. It is. It is. It is. It is. And blades. I tried your yogurt. Mine was strawberry. Very, very little fruit in the one I eat. Well, put some more in it. You can buy strawberries. Manatee or manatee. So you're saying if you don't have cash, you don't have dignity. Yeah. I mean, that's, it's just a saying. It doesn't mean that. You know, never mind. Don't, don't take these things literally, okay? So I guess everybody back in 1929 didn't have dignity. You know what, Manatee, I, I'm going to get rid of your comment. That, that's dumb shit. You know what? Here you go, Matilda. By God, here's your chicken fried steak with cream gravy. Now, listen to this comment. So you're saying, <clears throat> here's the comment. I said, you need to keep cash. Why? Because if you don't have any cash, C-A-S-H, you don't have any D-I-G-N-I-T-Y, you know what I mean? And, and, and that's true. Well, actually, I said, how do you spell dignity? And it's C-A-S-H, okay? And it's true because you do need a little thing to, and then he says, so you're saying if you don't have cash, you don't have dignity? Hmm? Is that what you're saying? So I guess everybody back in 1929 didn't have dignity. Yeah. You know, I really see why politicians pull their ball headed. They pull their hair out. Uh, here you go. Gone. 
Matilda thanks you. She was hungry for a chicken fried steak, cream gravy, Texas toast, and french fries. How about that for a health food diet? <clears throat> Bree Swee, or Bree Soul, I guess. Breezel, Bree Soul. Rusty, this is great and so true. I feel nothing goes the way I plan or imagine. Am I, and I am always more tired than I want to be, but being out in nature and hiking makes me happiest. Well, good for you, Bree. Enjoy your D. <laughs> Uber gal Barbara. <clears throat> Uber girl Barbara. Hey, Rusty, let's say a person has $20,000. Would they be better off with 30? Wouldn't they be better off with 30? Well, it depends. I don't know. You ask them, Uber girl. Don't ask me. Tina B. Let's not forget those boondocks who bring their contractor generators and run them all day and all night. Hello. Oh, I know it. Are they get to get those $98 ones at Walmart? <laughs> yeah, they're cheap. By God, they're cheap. Anyway, Sherry Hooker, that is such a beautiful ride. Rusty, safe travels. Yeah, you got it, babe. Yeah, my Class C. I like my Class C. Many D's. Uh, beautiful drive. Thank you. Riff Snorton. <clears throat> He says, life is like a sandwich. Oh, I got it. The more bread you have, the less you have to eat. I, I, I'm not going to read everything he wrote there. You need to read yourself. Bon Jean. Thumbs up. What about Bob? What about Bob? Hey, Rusty, have you ever read The Travels with Charlie? Yeah, I've read that. Sure. Everybody's read Travels with Charlie with, jo with John Steinbeck. Charlie was a dog, a poodle, actually. Mr. Steinbeck chronicles his travels in the early 60s with his dog, Charlie, and his truck, Caffer. Good read. Excellent read, actually. Yeah, I've read it. I think I've read it two or three times. Levi Brewer says, I'm in the fresh air in the mountains all by myself. No neighbors. Oh, goodness. <laughs> There's somebody coming to see you, boy. <clears throat> you won't be alone anymore. Shift into high. Thumbs up. King for a good day. A good traveler has no fixed plans and is not intent on arriving. Lao Tzu. 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 Okay. B Billy Ray. Billy W-R-A-Y Ray. Exactly why I don't stay in campgrounds. Too many people too close to each other. I have a very private boon. I have very private boondocking spots. I stay at where I go and have solar all set up. <clears throat> well, you know, uh, an RV park is not much different than a than a than a housing subdivision. You know, the only difference is you got houses jammed together instead of RVs jammed together. It's all about maximizing profit. <clears throat> Some of those lots are so small uh, you can't get a lawnmower between the houses. You know what I mean? That's in the subdivision. Rocky, you are correct, Amundo. It just takes one apple, bad apple, to spoil the whole bunch. Every neighborhood will have the people that take care of their yards and homes and are quiet. And then you will have the lazy lows that have five wild kids screaming, yep, grass mowed once a month. How home hasn't been painted in 20 years and loud POS cars. Yep, barking dog. No, but you know, uh, we got barking dogs here. Don't, 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 don't think we don't. Fortunately, it's pretty quiet. It's very quiet at night. You know, I mean, they don't bark during the day. But I mean, if I go take a walk, I tell you what, every, I think this is true probably of every city in every neighborhood. I'd say that in, in a neighborhood of 100 people, 90 have at least one dog or more. Spiderhead, thumbs up. And don't take care of them. <clears throat> or not all of them. King for a day. Yep, I had one of those cars you occasionally had to have a few friends push or go down a hill. But hey, it worked. No, I hear you. No, I, I used to have to park my car downhill. I had an old uh, uh, 1960 Ford Falcon, six cylinder, straight six, uh, standard transmission. And, uh, sometimes it's starting, sometimes it wouldn't. And so I'd always park on a good hill facing down the hill. So I could, if it didn't start, I could just let it roll and pop the clutch. And nine times out of 10, it'd start before I got to the bottom of the hill. If I made it to the bottom of the hill, well, I had to walk. <laughs> Anthony Hornbeck, uh, how to make your life more enjoyable, pop top. I got it. Alvin Masso, great information video. We'll do a few more here. William Bingham. Good morning, William. My camping is not to get away from, but to go to. Well, everybody's doing that. 
I'm on the road again to pursue new places of interest in my staying in state parks. And by staying in state parks, you have some recourse when the wrong people end up next door. Though I could tell them I'm a rusty 78609 Ranger. Take that. Yeah, they'd take it all right and probably make you eat it. <laughs> Thomas Fenton says, Rusty, how could you forget the Griswold? They named their son Rust or they named their son after you. LOL. Thank you, Thomas Fenton, for your movie history there. Shelly Walker. Hello, Shelly Walker. I'm looking forward to your camping videos. Safe travels. Well, we're going to be on the road, babe. And it won't be long. You know what the dog said when they cut his tail off? It won't be long now. Uh, Glenn McNeely. Nice ride along. Thank you, sir. You're very, 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 very welcome. Uber gal Barbara, thanks for showing us New Mexico's prime RV spots. New adventures at around every corner. Keep on RVing, baby. I'm going blue skies, nothing but blue skies do I see. There's a song about that. Nana Ofocolo or something like that. Ofocolo or something. They have two-way radios but talk like they are using Dixie cups with a string. Yeah, I hear you, baby. Wayne Johnson said, he says, I said yonder. You, you're going the wrong direction. <laughs> I'm going to where I want to go. If it's the wrong direction to you, it's right to me. Anyway, Julie Muley. Wow, it's green. Do you see it? We went from the from brown to green this week too. No, it's a lot of yeah. They've had to, they've had a good uh, <clears throat> summer uh, rain. Uh, Sherry Jennings on the 2021 tab 400. Way too much pricey. If you think they were pricey then when I did that video, you ought to check them now. <clears throat> anyway, Mark. 73573, RVing has become a fairly expensive hobby lifestyle. Uh, not really. Uh, you know, Mark, uh, isn't that, it says, I don't know, man. It says, a lot of people says, wouldn't even, it's, here's a guy here, Bob Steen or Stein, depending on which side of Mississippi you're on. These days, anything you do will cost you big. A, ho a hotel style vacation, wouldn't even think about it in this economy. Uh, well, you know, uh, guys, uh, you got to do what you got to do when you got to do it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so be that as it may, you know, for me traveling in the motorhome, even at today's gas prices, I budget uh, $600 a month for camping and gas. Is that expensive? Compare that with rent in an apartment. And I could cut the gas in half. Okay. And I could cut the gas, uh, camping fee down if I wanted to. Mr. CJ Cab 64, good day, Rusty. Thank you. I could get by for gasoline and camping, three fifty a month if I wanted to, and live comfortably. That's a fact. Anyway, Mr. He says good day, good day. Uh, we'll do two more and then shut her down. M. Fletcher, in my experience, many people have bought RVs during the pandemic because they couldn't go on their regular vacations. Too many people bought RVs that would have tr that should have tried it out before they spent tens or thousands of dollars. Uh, a friend of mine calls them. CO something, <coughs> whatever. They do them and I do me. M uh, Margaret Harris says, too funny, Rusty. <clears throat> we have experienced those early morning risers too. And we were in a hotel. Kids screaming, running up and down the hall hallway. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> come back, voice, come back. Earth to voice, come back. <clears throat> Kids screaming, running up and down the hallway. Parents slamming the door. Yep, remembered it all. Over again, when we went camping, this time the kids were running around, having fun, too, and pitching rocks at one another. Thank you, Margaret Harris. <clears throat> w. Thurman says, pretty blue sky, just beautiful. How could you not enjoy that nice ride, Rusty? Thank you very much. And with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon Products. In the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it does not cost you one penny. Just click on the link. Go to Amazon. Buy whatever you want. We forgot this. Positive energy. Take it easy. You can handle this. One step at a time. That's correct. Them. One step at a time. And then what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day will not hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout. Kidney stones. And it'll also help you lose weight. Because you'll be full of water. And you will not want to eat so much as it... <laughs> Snack, snack, snack. And then what else? Yeah, the only way to lose weight and keep it off, and you know it, and I know it, is eat less, period. That's it. And then what else? 
Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress. And relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet. Do it several times a day. And then what else? Stretch. 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 Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day. Every single day. Why? 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 Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negativity in of any kind. Ha <laughs> I like that. I just made that up. Anyway, yeah, this is your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought you have. So, add good ingredients. Common sense, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Lim you know, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha, until the noon video, which will be, you'll be surprised. Adios, amigos, bye-bye. <laughs> oh, beer 32. <laughs>